president now facing some tough choices on Syria. 24 hours after intelligence revealed Syria has used chemical weapons against its own people. Tonight, the U.N. is demanding Syria let experts examine the evidence. ABC chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl at the White House tonight. And Jonathan, we noticed that the president used carefully chosen words on this today. Sure did, David, but make no mistake, this was tough talk from the president, and it came as the White House reaffirmed that all options are on the table when it comes to Syria, including military action. This video from a Syrian opposition group purports to show the gruesome aftermath of a deadly sarin gas attack in March, part of the mounting evidence that the Syrian government has used chemical weapons against its own people. To use potential weapons of mass destruction on civilian populations uh, crosses uh, another line, uh, and that is going to be a game changer. But notice he said potential. The president said the evidence is still not definitive. We have to act prudently. We have to make these assessments deliberately. The president has resisted taking military action in Syria or even arming the rebels. That's what could change. Jay, did the president mean it when he said use of chemical weapons would be a game changer in Syria? Yes, he did. So what does that mean? The president made clear the use of or the transfer to terrorist groups of chemical weapons by the Assad regime would be uh, crossing a red line. And he retains all options to respond including to that. Military force, including military force, including military options. Period. All options. All options may be on the table, but the military option sure appears to be the last option. White House officials have made it clear repeatedly that the president is not going to rush into another war in the Middle East over weapons of mass destruction.